humans are incredibly agile. We can move our bodies in many different ways, across many different surfaces, and through various obstacles. We commonly do this by using our legs. When we move our legs, our feet hit the ground and the force from the ground pushes back up against our body. This force is a vector and has a magnitude and a position where the force is applied by the foot onto the ground. Our ability to well control this force vector is one of the determinants of agility. For example, consider a soccer player who navigates the field while quickly changing direction to avoid oncoming defenders. A volleyball player jumping high to rally the ball over the net. Or an elite sprinter accelerating rapidly to win a gold medal. Effective control of this force vector may help explain movement differences between humans, between humans and other animals, and between humans and engineered systems. The control of this force is however limited by the capabilities of our nervous system and of our muscles. Our nervous system is limited by the information from the sensors in our skin and the sensors in our muscles that communicate with the spine and brain to send appropriate commands to, our, to move our bodies. In my thesis, I am interested in characterizing and understanding what limits controlling the magnitude and position of externally applied forces. In plain words, how well can we control these forces? How does our control of force compare to that of legged engineered systems? And what is it about our nervous system that is limiting even better control? To answer these questions, I build experimental setups and develop mathematical models. For example, I built an apparatus that constrained people from moving, but allowed them to exert variable but controlled forces with their leg against the ground. In the ground, I installed a mechanical sensor that measures the magnitude and position of the force being applied against the ground and displays this information on a screen. To characterize the ability to control force, I provide targets on the screen for participants to try and match by pushing more or less against the ground or by changing the position of the force against the ground. In other experiments, I build mathematical models of the musculoskeletal system and develop controllers that resemble our nervous system. I use simulation and optimization to then test hypotheses that we have about controlling force. Benchmarking force control performance in young, healthy humans will be useful for understanding the effect of age, disease, and injury on human agility. It will also be useful for understanding the limits to agility in legged robots and wearable devices of the future.